My name is Diego Acosta Alvear. I'm a postdoctoral fellow in the laboratory of Peter Walter at the UCSF. Our lab currently focuses and has been focusing for the past 15 years in understanding uh, a molecular signaling cascading that happens inside the cell that's termed the unfolded protein response. And this is essential for a cell to deal with perturbations of protein folding in the plasmic reticulum. And then the plasmic reticulum is an organelle inside the cell is essential for making all the proteins that the cell is going to display to the outside world. So everything has to be in check and under control. And if uh, things get a bit out of control, then the cell has this way of telling the nucleus what's happening in the endoplasmic reticulum, and the cell responds by turning up a bunch of genes. Uh, I guess I always liked science and engineering, and uh, I, I studied biology uh, in, in, my, in my undergrad in South America. And, uh, I, w I was always very fond of, of natural sciences. Uh, when I was doing my, my, graduate, my graduate work uh, in my, during my PhD, I wasn't working on cancer particularly, although I was working on a cancer lab. So we were studying cellular differentiation as a model to understand how cells exit the a, a cell cycle, cell cycle being a, a process that controls whether cells divide or not. And while working with this model system, we were actually studying how muscles differentiate. Uh, I came across uh, one particular transcription factor. This transcription factor is an essential protein that, that determines whether genes are turned on or off. And this particular transcription factor is, a, is an integral part of the unfolded protein response. So I got interested in the unfolded protein response, and uh, I, I happened to apply to, to Peter Walter's lab, who is, uh, well, he discovered the unfolded protein response along with Kazuto Shimori back 15 years ago. And uh, he was just starting this project in cancer, so it was a perfect fit for me. It's been a fantastic experience. Uh, Peter is a phenomenal mentor. Uh, we have, uh, I would like to say, close to unlimited resources, so, so we're not restricted by any means. So the, 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 there's an amazing amount of freedom in terms of how creative can you be with your science, and he's supportive of that, and, and he's very excited about this cancer project. So, so far, things have been great. Well, systems were particularly interested in multiple myeloma, which is a, a malignancy of, of plasma cells. And, uh, the reason we chose this disease is one is a very good model system to understand from a pathological standpoint what's going on with the unfolded protein response in a cancer. And secondly, is uh, multiple myeloma is not curable. So patients are often refractory to available treatments and they eventually succumb. So we thought by tapping into the unfolded protein response from a pharmacological perspective, we might give those patients a hope to, to, to better treatment options. It's, it's, a, it's a very big endeavor because not only our lab. So our, our lab leads the effort, but it's an international team that has assembled to, to tackle this question. So we're working in close collaboration with another, I think it's seven or eight PIs around the world. And, and we have input from, well, we, we do the cell biology. We have input from chemists and, and people that are going to do small molecule discovery, for instance. We have uh, even collaborators in, in Chile and South America that are testing some of the compounds and, and, and providing some leads for the models that we have in which these cells might be working or not. So it's, it's a pretty large effort right now. I think it's an amazing initiative and, and, and uh, definitely without this, this help, we couldn't be doing a quarter of what we're actually doing. And, and, and I think academic science has a lot to offer in terms of providing good, valuable leads that could em end up in therapeutic alternatives and eventually hope for patients. So I think it's phenomenal that we count on with this funding. Great. Well, thanks a lot. That's all I have.